Hello, I'm Anne Salter and you're watching the news from International Business Times UK. The UK Foreign Office has made public the first batch of thousands of lost colonial era files, which were believed to have been destroyed. The classified secret papers reveal instructions that sensitive material relating to potential abuses should be burned before handing over to local governments. The migrated archives came to light in January last year after four elderly Kenyans brought a high court case against a UK government over the alleged torture of Kenyan Mau Mau rebels in British camps in the 1950s. Edward Hampshire at the National Archives explained what kind of things were in the records. What is coming through is, is a range of material on security, defence, a, a whole range of matters uh, across policy, some of which do relate to um, the Mau Mau uprising um, and how the British dealt with that. David also revealed that the name of Barack Hussein Obama, father of the US president, was also on a document related to the names of Kenyan students who were studying the US in 1959. And in a strange twist of irony, the US government said they believe Kenyan students to be anti-American and anti-white. He went to the University of Hawaii and obviously if this program had not gone ahead um, then he would never have gone to Hawaii and would never have met his future wife and therefore Barack Obama would not have been born, so yes. And if you're interested in seeing an important part of history with your own eyes then go to the National Archives at Kew to see the 1,300 records displayed. I am Anne Salter. Thank you for watching. For more news and updates, go to ibtimes.co.uk.